I'm Stacy Gordon. Welcome to That's My Jam. In case you missed my last video, I want to do a super quick recap on a couple things. That was my 50th YouTube video. Transitioning into spring and summer, we're going to do some lighter summertime dishes. With Memorial Day fast approaching, we're going to do some basic cookout dishes. And I also mentioned that several people have approached me wanting to make some of my recipes, but telling me it would be so much easier to do that if the recipes were written out. So I'm starting the process of writing out all the recipes from those first 50 videos and making them into a small cookbook that should be ready later in the summer. So just because the first 10 to 20 videos may have been a little rough because, well, there's a learning curve to this. That doesn't mean they weren't solid recipes. They absolutely are. So those will be in the book. And even if the video is a little rough, the recipe will be great. We're moving into spring and summer, and that means strawberry season. I think just about everyone enjoys a really good strawberry shortcake. Now, aside from the strange little round sponge cakes that you buy in a multi-pack at the store, there's basically two ways to make homemade strawberry shortcake. One is a round cake that's similar to a biscuit consistency. We may make that one later on. But the other is a cake cake that's made in a square baking dish, cut into squares, and served with your strawberries and whipped cream. That's the version we're going to make today. So let's get started. I've got one pound of beautiful fresh strawberries. They smell incredible. After removing the caps, there are a couple different ways people like to slice up their strawberries. Sometimes they just like them in pretty slices, and sometimes they like to cut those slices into little diced up chunks. I think I'm going to use a mixture of both with my strawberry shortcake today. So let me get those cut up. With our strawberries cut up, we're going to add some sugar on top of these so that we can start to make a really nice juice. Now I've got a quarter cup sugar here, but I'm not convinced I'm going to need all of this. You can always add more later. I used a little more than half of that quarter cup. I'm going to keep this aside in case we need more later. I'm going to place my strawberries and sugar in the refrigerator and let them start to juice. I've got my oven preheating to 325 degrees and I'm going to use some baking spray in a 9 by 9 square dish. I've melted four tablespoons or one quarter cup butter. I'm going to put that in my mixing bowl with one half cup sugar. I've lightly blended those two ingredients. Now I'll add one egg and about one teaspoon vanilla extract. We're going to continue to combine that on a low speed. I'm going to slowly start to mix in one and a half cups all-purpose flour, two teaspoons baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon salt. Next, we're going to add a half cup milk and then we're going to mix this again until everything is well blended. The result is a very thick, very dense batter. Let's transfer that batter to our greased baking dish. This batter is crazy thick. I ended up baking mine for about 30 minutes. It's a tricky one, so you really need to keep an eye on it to make sure that it's done in the center. 
before I walk away to go listen to some Tom Petty, I'm gonna check on those strawberries. I'm gonna give them a good stir. And I think I'm gonna add a little more sugar. Now we'll put these back into the refrigerator once again. Anytime you can like or comment on a video, it would be most appreciated. My cake's out of the oven now. You can see that I'm getting some golden brown on the sides and I get a spring back when I lightly touch it. While our cake is cooling down and our strawberries are continuing to get juicy, we're gonna make some whipped cream. You can see that I've added my whisk attachment to my stand-up mixer, and now I'm going to put some heavy cream into my mixing bowl. I'm not gonna measure this, but I'm gonna say probably about a cup. To that, I'm gonna add just about a half teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna lock that in and we are gonna whip this on the highest speed possible. This process takes a few minutes, but if you're patient, you are going to have a lovely homemade whipped cream. My cake is cool now, so I've cut a square and now I'm gonna slice that square right down the middle. We'll open it up like a sandwich. My strawberries have been in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half and they're getting pretty juicy now. We're gonna add some strawberries to our cake and then we'll put the lid on and add a little bit more strawberry. We wanna make sure that we get some good syrup on this part. Now all we need is a dollop of our homemade whipped cream. This is beautiful. I'm so anxious to give this a try. I've got the perfect bite, some cake, some strawberries, some juice and some whipped cream. Y'all, this is so good. It just tastes like summer. The cake is a wonderful texture with just a little bit of sweet. The strawberries are plenty sweet with their wonderful syrup and then the whipped cream on top. Oh, I believe we have officially transitioned into strawberry season. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and I hope you have a great week ahead. Tune in for my video on Thursday. In the meantime, turn off the TV, turn on some Tom Petty and just keep jamming. Tom Petty is somebody I never had the pleasure of seeing in concert. Even though I grew up in the Tom Petty era, I never really became a big fan until recently. I've been listening a lot to the Tom Petty channel on Sirius XM, and I'm really sorry that it took me this long to realize how great his work was. Don't let that happen to you. If you can only listen to one track today, check out Wildflowers.